This is one of the coolest displays I've ever used and I'm going to show you why. This is the 5.7 inch inky impression by a company called Pimeroni. It has a resolution of 600 by 448 pixels and as you can see it actually is colored. So there's seven different colors that this e-ink display can produce and that makes it pretty unique. Additionally on the back you can see that there's actually A, B, C, and D and that represents the four different buttons that you can program on this thing. Additionally on the back you can see that there's a 2x20 header and this is for plugging in a Raspberry Pi to power the display. With that being said I'm going to switch over to my computer so I can show you just how this thing works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and plug in the power source. You can see that it already plugged in the Raspberry Pi to the 2x20 header on the inky impression. And so I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the micro USB and I have it connected to my computer. I wanted to pause the video for a second and just say if you're liking the content, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications. It helps me out a ton and I love making these videos and I want to continue to make these videos. So if you want to support me, please just go ahead and subscribe. Thank you. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over and show you basically all the functionality of this thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and SSH into my Raspberry Pi. And as you can see, the host name is raspberrypi.local. And then I'm going to use the Pi user. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in my password. And within a few seconds, I'm logged into my Raspberry Pi. I then went ahead and cloned the repository from the Inky Impression GitHub. And I will have a link to that in the comments down below. And we're just going to go ahead and look at this directory and show you what it has. So as you can see, it has some examples. It has an install.sh file to install the proper packages. And this is pretty much everything you're going to need to display things on the inky impression. Lastly, we're just going to go ahead and change directories into the examples folder. And then from there into a directory called 7color. And this is where all of our code is going to be run from. So I'm just going to go ahead and now turn over the display so we can see what's going on on the screen. And the first example we're going to run is called stripes.py. So in order to run it, we're just going to do python stripes.py. And then as you can see, after we ran that, the screen is going to update. And now this takes quite a bit of time. These colored e-ink displays take just a decent amount of time to update all of the pixels on the screen. Um, as opposed to black and white e-ink displays that take just a few seconds, these take around 30 seconds to, to refresh. So we'll just give it a few more seconds. And now as you can see, the display has finished updating. And you can see these seven different colors that we have to work with. So on the top, we have black, and then white, and then green, and then blue, and then red, and then yellow, and then orange. The next example I'm going to show you is the image.py. And this is probably the most powerful uh, example I'm going to show. It basically allows you to display any image, whether it's a PNG or a JPEG on the display. So in order to run it, just do python image.py and then you give it the path to a image and I have this superheroes.jpg file and then all you have to do is click enter and it will go ahead and start displaying on the screen. You can see that the screen is now updating and again it takes quite a few seconds for this to uh, fully refresh but within a few seconds the image will be displayed and I gotta say that the probably the best use case for these displays is showing comic book um, pictures because they just show up really well and they just look really nice because I mean it looks like an actual piece of paper it's pretty crazy um, so as you can see here's the full color image and you can see there's a lot of details in this thing for only being 600 by 448 pixels you get a lot of resolution and these images turn out really nice one of the cool things about these e-ink displays is you can actually just unplug the power cord and the image remains. So as you can see the power cord is plugged in at the moment, but I'm just going to go ahead and take it out and you can see that the image is still there. And this makes it super useful to basically display images over a long period of time without using any sort of electricity. I'm going to go ahead and plug back in the display and we're going to go ahead and see the last example for this inky impression and this is probably by far my favorite example of what this thing can do. So I'm logged back into my Raspberry Pi and there's this file called html.sh and what this file does is it allows you to display 
uh, an image from a website. So I have this HTML file called hello world.html. And when I run the HTML.sh script, it is actually going to take a screenshot of that HTML file and display it on the screen. So if we take a look at this HTML.sh file, I'm just going to go ahead and open it up with Vim to show you what it actually does. So as you can see, it uses Firefox in headless mode to take a screenshot of file name, which is what we pass it, which is going to be the hello world.html file, and then it displays it using image.py and then the name of the screenshot. So now we're just going to go ahead and run it using dot slash html.sh to execute the script, and then we're going to pass it the hello world.html file. And you can see that it gives the, the warning that you are running in headless mode, and that is just Firefox saying there's no uh, display connected. And you can see that it's already showing up the uh, hello world.html file. And this is honestly probably the best use case for these displays because you can display things like uh, screenshots of websites, screenshots of dashboards, and this just allows you to display all sorts of information really easily on this thing. And I just think it's a really cool use case, and there's just a lot of potential for really interesting projects to be made with this. Taking a look at the actual image, you can see that it's very detailed, and it has this really nice gradient from red to yellow. And this just really shows you how you can use this thing in a lot of different situations. And I just really love this, dis this display, and I think it's awesome. Um, if you're interested in this sort of thing, and you want to see more, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know. And as always, if you like the video, please make sure to like it and subscribe. Thank you.